Sometimes you want to get a car cycled through the repair shop quicker, and when you have small amounts of damage, such as a key scratch or small chips or even a small dent, um, the challenge of priming that in a non-controlled area sometimes becomes a challenge. So Marty, when you have situations like that, is there a product that you have that can possibly prime that area up without being in a booth? Roger, we do. We've got a unique uh, product that we call uh, Squeegee Prime, NP75C. It comes packaged as a two-component primer, part A and B, uh, two mixing tips, extra tips are available, and a unique applicator gun. And when both parts, A and B, are mixed throughout this mixing tip, you have approximately five to ten minutes working time with the product. And after you squeegee it on the surface, you have anywhere from a 30 to a 45 minute air dry uh, sand time uh, before you sand it. Infrared heat lamps can of course speed that up as well. If Great. desired. If desired, you have the option to take some uh, urethane reducer and run around the edges if you're concerned about the edge maps or the cliff edges as sometimes they're called. Mm -hmm. We have that option. So they won't, they won't harm the product at all? Nope. After about a five minute flash off time between coats, a second coat uh, may be applied. And typically most technicians do apply two coats. We recommend two coats. And what they'll often do is instead of applying it the same direction, you'll see them applying it the opposite direction for the second coat. Okay. Now does this, does this take the place of the roll-on primer? It's another option to roll on primer. Okay. It's another option. Typically we find about a 10 by 10 inch area is the maximum you can do with this product. And in real world, most are using in the scenario just like you see here. A minor key scratch, feather edged out slightly, and then instead of spraying our primer on and masking everything up, we're simply squeegeeing it on just like we did. And if I use that tar cartridge there, can I just let it harden in the tube and then break off the tube later on if I want to use it again? You can, and uh, when we're done with it, if we know we're done right now, we take the tube off, we put the protective cap on, and we, and we put it in storage like this. And shelf life on that product lasts about how long? Shelf life on this product is, is basically uh, many, many months. Thanks, Marty. Mm -hmm.